In this video, I'd like to share with you a simple Qigong routine that can help you feel uplifted. Hi, I'm Jeff Chand, acupuncturist, practitioner of traditional Chinese medicine and Qigong instructor. Sometimes we feel down, sometimes we feel depressed, sometimes we feel bleak and heavy. And you know what? That is okay. You're allowed to feel down. You're allowed to feel blue. But sometimes we want to uplift ourselves. We don't want to feel like that anymore. If you're in that state where you just feel like you want to do something for yourself to help you feel uplifted, this little simple routine can help. It's focused on an exercise, a Qigong exercise called wild goose flying. Now it's a very, very simple exercise. So what we'll do is I'll, sh I'll describe the exercise. I'll give you some details so that you can focus on, and then we'll go through a really simple routine. If you're new to Qigong, Qi means energy or breath, Gong means work. So it's basically an energy or breath work. It's an ancient exercise that helps revitalize your energy. You'd practice gentle movements with deep breathing and a little bit of mental focus to really help your root energy, your uh, overall state of health, and your body heal itself. It's based on the idea of good chi or energy circulation. The idea is that when our energy or chi is blocked, then that's when we feel sick we don't heal, we don't feel unwell, we can't think clearly. So getting our chi to move, that's the most important aspect of qigong practice. So the exercise is called wild goose flying. There's many different names for this exercise and lots of different variations and there's no one right way to do it. You can explore, you can, you can play around with it, you can find what works best for you. Now the basic movement here, now what you want to do is stand flat on the ground. I know you can't see my feet because I can't see my feet, but uh, just try to find a comfortable position where you feel stable. So uh, keep your knees bent. You notice me bouncing like this. This is the idea to always keep your knees bent. You never want to lock out your joints. Even if you have some sort of knee issues or some discomfort, just try to keep those knees softened. Now the main exercise, the main movement is your hands come up and your hands come down. The hands come up, at least to the level of the shoulders, and the hands come down. That's it. So we add our breath into this. So we breathe in as the hands come up, breathe out as the hands come down. So now you can imagine you're a wild goose flying through the air, flying through an ancient forest like this. So breathing in as your hands come up, breathing out as your hands come down. Very, very simple. So now you might notice, I was trying not to do it, but you might notice that I'm straightening up my body, standing up straight, still not locking the knees, keeping them soft, and bending the knees as the hands come down. Now you can bend your knees just slightly. You can bend them a lot, how, whatever's comfortable. Breathing in, hands come up. Breathing out, hands come down. Think about sinking your weight down into the ground. So you're thinking about dropping your tailbone, dropping your, your hips down. So you're not thinking about this here, bending your knees like this. I don't know if you can see that or not, uh, but we want to think about dropping the weight straight down as if we're sitting on a chair. Now let's just discuss a few little details. The idea is that you're a wild goose flying through the air. Now, I don't know how many geese you've seen in your life, but uh, uh, geese I think about as a medium-sized bird, and they do have very strong, wide wings. So the idea is you want to really encapsulate that feeling. Like imagine you are a goose with, with, uh, with big wings. So you want to try to avoid feeling like a chickadee. I like chickadees, I like little birds too, but you want to have more fullness, not, not like emptiness and flutteriness in your, in your arms. You want to have a sense of fullness. Honestly, for me, I think about uh, larger birds like um, condors and vultures, like those ones that have really, really big wingspan and their fingertips, or you can almost see their fingers as they're, they're flying. So in your mind, try to visualize your big, strong bird. You're using every single body muscle in your body to fly throughout the air gracefully. So now I'm started off by saying you can bring your arms up to level the shoulder. But if you have good range of motion, you have no problem, you can lift your arms all the way up, all the way up to the, above the head. Just whatever's comfortable. As long as you don't feel any discomfort as you're doing this. Breathing in, big condor, vulture, pterodactyl, 
arms come up all the way to the top there. Now, if you have some shoulder problems, you can ease into it. You can, you can, you can actually even keep your arms a little bit forward instead of going all the way out like this, but don't cause any strain in your shoulder. Okay, so that is called wild goose flying. Now we're going to do a little routine. So if you're all ready, just stand, get comfortable. Now just take a few moments and bring your attention into your Dantian or your lower belly and just take a few deep natural breaths. Try to relax your body, release any tension that you're holding in your body, in your legs, in your arms, in your head, in your back, and just breathe deeply. And just try to put yourself, your body, your mind into a positive space. It's okay if you feel down and a little bit blue right now. It's okay. Good, now relax. Now we begin with the first exercise called the rise and fall. Sink your weight slightly down. Breathe in as your hands come up to the level of the shoulder, palms facing down. Breathing out as the hands come down and relax. Breathe in as the hands come up to the level of the shoulder. Breathe out as the hands come down. Let's try to relax. Use as little tension as necessary. And you can just continue on your own. Breathe in as the hands come up to the level of the shoulder, feeling fullness in the body, fullness in the arms, feel strong but relaxed at the same time. Breathe in, have a little smile on your face, breathe out, relax, let go of any tension, any worries, any busy thoughts, any stress. And three more, breathing in and out. Breathing in, feeling warm in the body. Breathing out, letting go of any tension. Last one, breathing in. And breathing out. Good, relax your body, readjust your feet if you need to. Next exercise, wild goose flying. Sink the weight down, breathe in, hands come up to the level of the shoulder, breathe out, palms facing down, relax down to your side. Breathe in, and out. Good, continue on your own, breathing in. Imagine that you are a big, strong, peaceful bird flying through the air calmly. Feel the warm air going through your fingertips, wingtips.
Try to maintain that connection all the way through your arms, all the way through your hands, and all the way through your fingertips. When your arms come up, feel as if you're this big bird pushing the air up. And as you breathe out, feel the pressure pushing the air down. Have just a little smile on your face. A gentle smile, or what's called the inner smile, helps your chi and your energy move smoothly throughout your body, even without doing anything. Great, three more. Breathing in. And out. Keeping that awareness, keeping that energy going through the arms, breathing in. Big strong bird, breathing out. Wonderful, last one, breathing in. And out. And bring your arms back to the side. Last exercise, gathering the chi. Breathing in, reaching the hands out and around into the front of the dantian or the lower belly and coming to the belly. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, feel as if you're gathering the chi, gathering the energy. Breathing out, pulling it into the body, into the lower dantian, into your body where it's needed. Breathing in, and out. Good, continue on your own. Good, three more, breathing in, taking in good energy, vitality, vibrant energy into the body, bringing in positivity, good thoughts, a clear mind, a healthy body. Last one, breathing in and breathing out. And you're all done. You can practice this routine once or even twice a day if you really want to help uplift your energy and brighten your mood. If you've enjoyed this style of Qigong, please come join us in the community. Here we have an online library of many different types of Qigong practices that are not found here on YouTube. We have some simple, short, easy routines, and we have other routines that are a little bit longer and a little bit more directed to specific conditions. We also have many different videos where we're talking about the concepts of traditional Chinese medicine and Qigong. And we also have a wonderful welcoming forum where we can connect and exchange ideas with like-minded people from all over the world. Come join us for a seven day free trial. I know you'll find something of value. And if you don't, that's okay. It's very, very easy to cancel and you can cancel at any time. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. What did you experience? What did you feel in your body? What, what emotional state did you find? What kind of bird did you imagine? Thanks for watching and we will see you next time.